and we're gonna pick our next class now and full disclosure I now am running a mod called auto apply oils which whenever I get into a fight automatically applies the most appropriate oil for the monster I'm about to fight so that's a thing now um, cave of dreams we might as well do this so I'm gonna go ahead and do cave of dreams And we, we've got to get out of here first. And I think the way out is this way, so we'll do that. Unless I can't get out this way. Yeah, it's this way. Maybe it's hard. Nope, hard. Hard. Okay, how do I get out of here? Alright. Let's keep looking for a way out then. Okay, apparently I leave this way. Okay, fine. So now let's take a quick look at our map and we're going off to another island clearly. So before I go off to that other island, I want to see what this is. Yeah, I want to finish this island and I possibly do this one as well. So let me get some place where I'm clear and then, okay. I'm, up. Oh, didn't mean to do the whole fall damage thing, but it's done now. Got some notes. Alright. Praise Madman Lugos. His men have failed. Have raided a village on Udvig's eastern shore. Hit them by surprise. Hid then the cowardly dogs. Must not wanted clan Turadox. Tur or whatever that is. Jarl to discover the truth because they covered their tartans with soot. Didn't expect our guards to be on the lookout. For our folk to put up resist or for our folk to put up resistance, four of ours died, two of theirs. Clearly Lugos has gotten bored of raiding the continent and is looking for loot closer to home. One thing's certain, if it's where he wants, he's gonna get it. Alright. Not gonna go too crazy reading all those books. There's a lot of books in this game, so. Alright. Got a lot of screaming creatures now don't know if it's i genuinely don't know if it's faster to go around or if it's faster to swim that's not that far so i'm gonna swim it and hopefully loot whatever's in the water i'm gonna come up on this side just in case those are bad guys yeah those are bad guys Alright. Okay, nope. We want a Quen. Nope, we're gonna axe these guys. Okay, nope, 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 nope. We got a Quen. We got a Quen up. Okay. Well, that didn't work out at all. And now I got Neckers. Alright, well, we'll use the Neckers to heal. But that's a thing, yeah. Nope, come on, Quen. Okay. Trying to get up here. Primarily, I want to get up here. Uh, 
I'm getting frustrated with the mountains around here. I'm I, like I really am. I'm just, you know, it it makes it so hard to just do what you're trying to do. You know, trying to get one thing done, and you got a whole bunch of obstacles in the way of getting one little thing done. It's like, come on. Yeah, they make it so damn difficult just to get one thing done. What the hell? You know, you're trying to do one simple thing. Race? Okay. what's going on in there, but I don't think I have to fight that, so I won't power up my Quen and get in it, get into it with them. loot them. Okay. And then the old druid said, if it really is wisdom and knowledge you seek, take your most valuable possession and put it in the chest. Then sail to Udvik, climb the mountain and walk the ridge. Bow once to each of the four winds and command yourself, command yourself to the gods and toss the chest into the sea. Hadvik did as the druid counseled and then returned to the sacred grove. I tossed the chest in the sea, Hedrick said, but I don't feel one bit wise the druid replied that it's because there's no shortcuts in the road to wisdom. Neither saying no prayers, nor making offerings, nor listening to the words of wise men, wise men will grant it to you. That is your lesson. Hearing this, Hadrick flew into a rage and strangled the druid with his bare hands then stuck his head on a pike and set it out in front of his house so everyone would know that while he might not be wise, he was nobody's fool. Yeah, I would have done fairly much the same. You know, you want to teach me a lesson, teach me a lesson, but don't be, uh... You want to teach me a lesson, teach me a lesson, but don't be a douche about it. And that's what that Jude tried to do. That Jude was being wise-ass. There it is. I see it now. do a few quests along the way so we're gonna hit this one let's hit this one first all right yeah, it's a fair distance away but all right let's kind of just get there. Not going to worry too much about the knackers. <laughs> Come on. I had that. 
Alright, let's get it keep it moving. That come on was because as I was running, I suddenly stopped and I didn't see I didn't see an obstacle that should have made me stop. I stopped apparently for no reason, so I don't know if that bear is chasing me or not. If it is, oh wow, okay. Well, I don't know that I can do much here. I think this is, oh, good grief. Oh, whoa. Oh, wow. Okay, so I don't think that's a thing. I gotta get down to the bottom somehow. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I don't know how I get down there. That may be a way down, but it doesn't look like a good way down. Good grief. Now they made a mistake, it, for as far as I'm concerned in this game, when they made the, uh, the roads and the canyons look the same on the map. I don't think that was a good idea. The roads and the can- the canyons and roads look identical in this game. Okay, we've got an abandoned village. I know nothing about this. I, I'm hearing monsters. Let's explore it a little bit. Hi. I, I don't know. Cuz I don't want to just jump into the sea here, but Okay, there's something over there. Okay, that was a tree. Alright. I don't know what I'm supposed to be looking for. But it looks like, it appears to me that I'm going down to the shore. It appears to me that I'm trying to get down to the shore. That's what it looks like to me, that I'm trying to get down to the shore here. That's why this, this mountainous terrain here is really frustrating. Because I'm trying to get down to the shore, apparently. Hey, I'm going to try to go this way to get there. Alright. Yeah, now. Alright, load the save. I don't know, man. It's like... There are times when the game is just like, yeah. I mean, this, 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 the, basically what's going on is that some of the, the more mountainous um, terrain makes it really hard to get where you're trying to go and it it's a very how can i put this it severely impacts the in-game quality of life negatively it severely negatively impacts the in-game quality of life i will just tell you if you're ever a game designer watching this let's play Making it really, really, really hard to get around your levels is never something that any gamer anywhere is ever going to consider cool level design. It's always going to be something that every gamer playing your game is going to be like, why the fuck did they do that? It makes the game significantly less fun. And it is. Trying to get around a game where you can't get around, you can't do what you're trying to do, is really really freaking annoying in a way that has there's no fun component to this at all it's just a pain in the ass 
trying to navigate this area like this, there's no component to this that's entertaining. It's all a pain. There's no component to this that's even slightly entertaining. It's all a pain in the butt. It's all a big why. Now, it looked like from the other side that I could get down this way, so I'm going to try it. Get, first we want to go to the left. We want to go left and right, so we want to get here. And I see no way to get there other than to swim, so let's just do it. Seems like it's most likely in the water. All right. All right, there we go. Come on. Yeah, I understand. There's a mod out there that allows you to jump in shallow water and that feels almost needed. All right, I swear, not in my whole life have I ever seen such waves. 10, 12, 14 feet in the wind. Why it shook the mast and battered the sails so they were near about to fly off. Rocks everywhere, currents treacherous. Helmsman said we'd pull through, that he'd seen worse and come out all right. Me, I'm not so sure. If the storm don't calm soon, this tub's going to break in two. All right? All right. Let's take a look at the map. And we've got Precious Hall, so we're going to do that. We're going to do Precious Hall, and then we're going to do this. All right. Come on. All right, so let's just go get Precious Hall. right there. Okay. So we're headed this way now. Something over there, but I'm going ahead. I wish I could look and keep swimming. I mean, you can, but in, on a controller, it's a little awkward to look and keep swimming. Formation over there looks like a huge. Uh, here we go. We've got things in the air. All right, we got guarded treasure. Here we go. Okay, we're gonna Yurden. All right, and back to Quen. Right. 
right, we're getting into them. Basically, if you fly, you get got here. All right, got a few things now. We're here, we're gonna pull out, pull the map out. All right, and we're headed to that island. So what we're gonna do is, yeah, it makes the most sense to start doing these. So I'm gonna hit this. Now, wait, let's pick a quest. We, 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 we we're actually on the wrong quest, so because we're not doing this quest yet. So, Finders Keepers, Price of Honor. So we're gonna do Price of Honor next. And do I have any, I, I, um, I don't know if I have any other quests because I did pick up a few new things here. So Witcher Contracts, nope, nothing till Novigrad and Treasure Hunts, nothing. All right, so back to the map. We're going so we're going down here. We're going here. So what we really want to do is we want to travel along here. And I don't see a boat here. Oh, there is a boat. So we're going to go get this boat and then we're going to sail out. All right. All right. That's it, Roach. All right. Okay. For whatever reason, Roach doesn't want to go kind of in the direction that I'm trying to go in. Like, there is a road, and Roach is like, "Yeah, I'm not. Slower. I'm not going there." Like, there's a road, and Roach is like, "Nope, not going there. Not doing the road thing." Just not my thing today. It's like, come on, dude. Let's let's do this. Let's let's follow a road. We can follow this road. We got this. This road is a real thing. Oh, cool. Ooh, he was not making that turn. Roach was not turning there. Caught him just in time. He was about to ride right off the cliff. Now, let's <coughs> hop here. And we are taking, yeah, we're taking this, this turn right here. We're going this way. So this is a town of some kind. Take it easy. All right, I'm looking around. I see some people. Hajimer. There's loot. I'm not looting it, probably because I have the thing set not to steal. So we're not going to steal. And we'll get in the boat. Alright, and we'll take the boat out. Now, here's what we're going to do, world map. We're going to circle around where we're headed is, so we're going kind of this way, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to take this first. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and get this one. Make sure we don't hit any rocks. That's genuinely, a, generally a bad thing. This time we're gonna stay in the damn boat. We're not gonna try doing it on by swimming. 
And it's that episode where I did swimming. I cut a lot. I cut like, I don't know, like I, that was, I wound up being a half hour episode. That episode was, yeah, I cut 15 minutes of me wandering around doing nothing. From that episode. The one, the episode where I killed the giant, giant, the giant slayer episode. It was like 15 minutes of me being lost that I cut from that episode, both in the water and out. Get out. Get get off. Get off. The heat does not get out of the boat quick enough for me. Like when you when you go to get off the boat, it takes so long for him to disengage from the boat. It should be I mean I should tap the button and he should disengage from uh, from running the boat. You gotta hit that button like three, four times for him to disengage from, from running that boat. It is it takes so long. You know, it's just, it's for my money, it's got to be more responsive. It's got to be immediate. I should tap the button for him to stop helming the boat. I should tap the button, button for him to leave helm. And he should immediately leave. Like, it should be one tap. Like, I hit the button twice already. I think I got them all. I'm gonna get a little bit of air. And then we're gonna go get some treasure. Looks like there's three of them here, so we're gonna grab all three. Should be able to get two of them in one shot. I don't know if I can get the third in the, in the same shot, but yeah, I won't, I won't even try. It's not worth it. All right, now here we go. We're going for that one. All right, now hit the air. All right, and swim for the boat. this one and we may need to go for another boat soon let's turn all right let's go and skirt the debris because the debris can do a number on your boat now this is a this one is a long way away so So here's what we're going to do. We're going to end the episode here. And I will see you in a little bit. Thanks for watching. And I will see you in the next episode. Peace.